Well, we just had to stop because we had a seal coming off of the side of the RV. It's flapping in the wind. And I just noticed it out the, out the mirror. Well, we made it. Back in Bama. Back in Eufaula, Alabama. We were here, I was looking up to see the exact date that we were here, and it was almost four years ago. Yes. It was well before we started full time, and I think we we're in the same spot. I think it's like exactly the same spot. It's either this spot or the one right next to it. It's no, one of those. Pretty sure it was this one, though. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at the footage yeah. and I'll compare the two. But what I also found interesting is and forgive me because i'm a little bit of a nerd i track everything on spreadsheets so i know exactly how many subscribers we had when we came here four years ago <laughs> how many 319. Woo! <laughs> Dang. that's funny <laughs> that's cool um so yeah. if you if you were one of those 319 thank you leave us a comment <laughs> and let us know that you were here with us four years ago at the same campground well, we're getting all set to go to Birmingham today. I wanted to let you know that I did leave a link in the description from that video that we did from this campground four years ago. And I apologize ahead of time because, man, it was bad. <laughs> but hey, you got to start somewhere. So um, if you're doing this YouTube thing, don't get discouraged. It gets better, trust me. But it'll give you a good laugh to go ahead and watch that video. I'm getting ready to walk back into the RV and just came across this guy. I don't know if he's dead or not. But he's cool. Let's we'll see how close I can get to him without freaking him out. Hopefully he don't jump on me. Look at this guy. Big old fat locust. Holy crap. Maybe I'll touch him with a stick or something and see if he see if he moves. Find a stick. You know when you're a little boy and dad teaches you. <laughs> Think something's dead. Poke it with a stick. I hope this guy don't freak out, man. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. oh. whoa. Oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's getting on the stick. Oh, man. Look at that guy. I'm just going to move him safely over here into the, into the grass. There you go, buddy. Whoa. Well, we're in Birmingham. There wasn't too much exciting along the way to talk about, but we ran into our first issues along the the route and that was our pedestal only one of the legs was working so they're over here working on it we have extension cord now running from the site next door over to ours uh, to plug in hopefully he'll get our pedestal fixed up quick the other issue is this tree up here this huge tree the branches are coming down we scratch all along the way hey what you doing huh what you doing I'm doing the RV park's job. <laughs> Look at this. I've cut that much off of the tree just so that we won't scrape coming out of here tomorrow. The site is uh, very narrow because the sidewalk comes up on this side and then there's a uh, like railroad ties on the other side. You can see how tall this thing is. We actually had to take the legs completely out of the stairs so that the stairs would go down enough for the door to close. So there's no other option. Your stairs have to come down on this elevated lip. Well, I was gonna blast them if they weren't gonna help us, but they gave us 20% off, which is about 13 bucks. So, that is something. yeah, I feel like I did more than $13 worth of work, <laughs> but I'll take what I can get. Yeah. So it's not a bad stop. No. Overnight, minor inconveniences. Uh, it's just frustrating because this place is twice as expensive as the other places that we've stayed. We've had no other issues anywhere else. Yeah. So you pay twice as much and you get twice as many problems. 
Yeah. So that's a little frustrating. It's so crazy. other than that, a pretty uneventful day. I'm, I'm drenched because it was just out there trimming trees and doing all the stuff that I shouldn't have had to do. But it's okay. It's like top five pet peeve. Not having trees tall enough for all RVs. That is one of our top five, probably. Um, the minimum height should be 15 feet. Trees should never hang lower than 15 yeah, feet. Yeah, we were talking to the maintenance guy, and he said they have it, what, twice a year they come out and do it? Yeah. It's not enough. Anyway, headed to, um, where are we headed tomorrow? Uh, Corinth, Mississippi. Corinth, that's right, Corinth. <laughs> well, the trip itself is going okay. Leslie's back there washing the rig. <laughs> yeah, we've hit every bug along the way. Look at that. Just all these love bugs, man. And it's been so long since we've been able to, to wash the rig. We have, we have like these lines, these black, these dark lines. See these lines? Can't get rid of those. They're like stained in. And then there's some up here on the, on the gold, too. You can see those lines. Tried to scrub that, but won't come off. So, if you have any ideas, we'll get that off without damaging those decals. Appreciate that. Put in the comments. That would help us out a lot. Last day. Yep. <laughs> we would show you something along the way, but I've driven this route several times and trust me, right. there's nothing to see. <laughs> so we'll just talk to you when we get there. <laughs> oh my God, there really is nothing. Maybe a water tower or two. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll show you a water tower or two along yeah, the way. Nobody ever sees that. <laughs> Well, we just had to stop because we had a seal coming off of the side of the RV. It's flapping in the wind. And I just noticed it out the, out the mirror. I would check my mirrors periodically. And this is what we got going on. So it looks like this thing just came loose. It's been flapping. And luckily it didn't, it didn't tear or break or anything. It looks like you can just put it back in this, put it back in this track. And then I'll tape it up with some electrical tape or something. And then once we get to where we're going, I'll seal it back up. But uh, lucky I saw that and it didn't break off. Well, we made it to Missouri. One small issue with the uh, trim there. Yeah, we gotta fix that. The seal. Yeah. <laughs> Not that kind of <laughs> But we made it. And as soon as we pulled in, about got kicked out of here. Uh huh. In the first five minutes. <laughs> Pissed off the owner. Yeah. It's a back end spot, and I had to back in from my blind side, which. I hate doing that, yeah. but I've gotten better at it. I've gotten yeah. a lot better at it. And this is a nice, long, wide spot. It's a wide spot. It's a long spot. I'm like, dude, I got no problem getting in here. But he insisted. On dictating exactly how we backed in. Yeah, he's like, turn your wheel just a little bit more. Okay, now back up just a little bit. Now turn your wheel this way a little bit. And I'm like, dude. I was frustrated. I'm like, just, can I just, and I was nice at first. I was like, can I just try? And he's like, well, I don't want you to get on my grass. Because it's killing the grass. And I'm like. Dude, your grass is already dead, A. And B, yeah, I might come over your grass a little bit, but it's not, not enough to kill it. gonna kill it. <laughs> and so then he's like, all right, all right, cool. And I was like, we started getting heated a little bit. Did you? Because know? I was back here, so. Yeah. I and I was like, dude, I just need to, I, I don't do well with people help, helping me back in. Yeah. And he goes, um, well, Maybe I've had people, we got liability issues and I've had people out here and, and they've backed their wife, smashed them between an RV and a tree and had to take them to the ER. And I'm like, okay, first of all, if I back Leslie into a tree, <laughs> I'm terrible because look at this. So you can see that space there. If I, I have no business RV and if I back her between that tree and I mean, it was just wide open back here. There's, yeah. I mean, there's. Yeah, I might have been a little crooked or whatever. He said, I've had people knock over my power pedals. We've been in, that, we've been in way tighter spaces than this. Way. Way tighter no, spaces. This was than a welcoming this. back in. Yeah, so I was like, dude, just let me try. And if I screw it up, then you can get involved. And he was all pissed. He's like, well, maybe you shouldn't even just, just shouldn't stay here. And I was like, dude, chill. Just let me try. If I, if I get close to messing anything up, you can watch, you can stop me. And if I get really, really bad, then you can tell me exactly how to do it. And he's like, all right. <laughs> and he stood over there all huffy and shit. And, and I backed it right in. Yes, it was very easy. 
No problem. I didn't even get on the grass. And matter of fact, up there at the front where the grass is, he parked his golf cart there. Yeah, he did. So he parked it on. I was going to hit the cart before I got on the grass. <laughs> That's how important the grass is to this guy. And so he could park his golf cart on the grass, the, the but I can't run my tires over it. No. That makes sense. We're in Missouri. What did you expect? Jeez, man. Yeah. But anyway, that wraps up the trip. We made it five days straight, minimal issues, yeah. couple of little hiccups, no big deal. We made it. And Good you know, course. I was thinking about it the other day and looking back and I was yeah. thinking about that stay in Eufaula and the last time we stayed there, it only had 300 subscribers last time. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching, for hanging out with us, for shopping on our stuff and helping us help vets yep. and supporting our sponsors and all that good stuff that you do to help us help vets and help us stay on YouTube was we couldn't do without you. We really do truly appreciate it. And I don't think we say it enough. So anyway, we're going to get set up and then we're going to, um, so I think is you can't drink, so you can't even drink this no, problem away. You can't drink it away. I'm going to hit that Delta eight though. Um, but yeah. and then tomorrow we gotta drive to memphis to go get mom so yeah anyway thanks for coming along with us on this journey <laughs> we'll take you with us on the way back when it comes that time but uh stick around for a few seconds we're gonna honor a fallen service member you want to see all the ways that you can help us help vets it's right down in the description of the video appreciate you watching we'll see you next time <laughs> Bye. Bye.